In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to count from zero to almost one trillion. I'll start counting in French, and you can repeat after me if you'd like. Zéro, un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf. In this clip, let's listen to a chubby kid say, three times six is twelve. Trois fois six, douze. Dix-huit. Dix-huit. Aren't you glad you're not getting smacked in the face as you learn French? Let's continue. Dix. Onze. Douze. Treize. Quatorze. Quinze. Seize. Dix-sept, dix-huit, dix-neuf. Twenty is vingt. In this clip, the teacher is talking about his career and says, here, that makes twenty years. Just pay attention to the number for now. You can ignore all the other words. Ici, ça fait vingt ans, là. Twenty-one is vingt et un, which literally means twenty and one, followed by vingt-deux. Vingt-trois, vingt-quatre, vingt-cinq, vingt-six, vingt-sept, vingt-huit, vingt-neuf. Trente, or thirty, follows the same pattern as vingt. Trente et un, trente-deux, trente-trois, trente-quatre. Trente-cinq, trente-six, trente-sept, trente-huit, trente-neuf. Forty is quarante. Quarante et un. Quarante-deux. Let's listen to this woman say, I'm pregnant at forty-two years. Can you believe it? Je suis enceinte à quarante-deux ans, tu peux le croire. We see the same hyphenated pattern in quarante all the way up to quarante-neuf, and that leads us to cinquante, fifty. Cinquante et un, cinquante-deux, cinquante-trois. We follow the same hyphenated pattern all the way up to cinquante-neuf, which brings us to soixante, sixty. Soixante et un, soixante-deux, soixante-trois. And once again, the same pattern all the way up to soixante-neuf, and that leads us to soixante-dix, seventy. Here's where it starts getting weird. To say seventy in French, you're technically saying sixty, ten. To say seventy-one, you're technically saying sixty and eleven, soixante-et-onze. Here's how you proceed into the seventies. Soixante-douze, soixante-treize, soixante-quatorze, Soixante-quinze, soixante-seize, soixante-dix-sept, soixante-dix-huit, soixante-dix-neuf. And here's another tricky part. To say eighty, you actually say four twenties, quatre-vingts. Let's listen to this reporter discuss how the price of a barrel of oil is headed towards eighty dollars. Le baril semble bien en route pour les quatre-vingts dollars, comme le pronostiquent certains experts. Note how when you count above 80, 80 loses its S. Also note how 81, 81 is the first time we see 1 hyphenated to a number and not separate. We continue with 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89. 90 is 90, which follows the format of 4 hyphen 20 hyphen 10, and it's followed by 91, 92, 93, 94, 95. 96, 
quatre-vingt-dix-sept, quatre-vingt-dix-huit, quatre-vingt-dix-neuf. If you've counted along with me this whole time, you've probably burned about quatre-vingt calories. That was a bad joke, but I felt like saying quatre-vingt one more time. Here are the ingredients you will need to form larger numbers: cent is hundred, mille is thousand, million is million, and milliard is billion. Counting from one hundred to one thousand is easy. There are just a couple rules to remember. First, in French, there is no un in front of cent, like you would expect based on English. One hundred fifty, for example, is cent cinquante. Let's look at a clip of a pro tennis player saying. The one hundred twenty-seven others. It goes by quickly, so pay attention. Les cent vingt-sept autres. Next, all you need to do is put cent or deux cents or trois cents in front of the numbers we have already covered in order to form three-digit numbers. Two hundred, as you can see, is deux cents. If a number is two hundred or higher and a multiple of one hundred, you add an s to the cent. Some more examples. Two hundred one is deux cent un. Three hundred eighty-seven is trois cent quatre-vingt-sept. Seven hundred thirty-five is sept cent trente-cinq. This should give you the idea of how it works. We're just adding on these tags to the numbers we learned earlier. Counting above one thousand is also easy. Just put mille in front of the numbers we have already covered to form four-digit numbers. One thousand nine hundred twenty-nine, for example, is mille neuf cent vingt-neuf. Let's listen to the president of France say it. Crise financière sans précédent depuis 1929. Let's do a few more examples and try to repeat after me. 3079 is 3079. 10498 is 10498. 3,800,107 is 3,800,107. Notice how mille never takes an s, even when plural. Million and milliard, however, always take an s when plural. Also, notice how you don't need to put an un in front of cent or mille, but you do need to put an un in front of million or milliard if they are singular. Here's a clip of a talented young mathematician in France counting in the billions. See if you can keep up with him. Un milliard. Et après deux. Deux milliards. Trois milliards. Quatre milliards. Cinq milliards. Huit milliards. Dix. Douze milliards. On peut le dire. Douze milliards. Here's one final example. French President Sarkozy says, "Did you know that France repays each year 49 billion euros of debt interest?" Savez-vous que la France rembourse chaque année 49 milliards d'euros d'intérêt de la dette? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to keep track of future lessons.